So we are going to do the single replacement reaction lab today. We're going to place a single piece of metal into each of the well plates, and we're gonna cover each metal piece with a dropper full of each solution. You will see that we're going to have copper in the first row, magnesium in the second, zinc will be in the third row, and tin will be in the fourth. We'll be using copper nitrate today, and the formula for copper nitrate is Cu parenthesis NO3 parenthesis 2, magnesium nitrate MgNO32, zinc nitrate ZnNO32, and silver nitrate AgNO3. Here are each of the metals in the well plates, copper all the way down to tin. Here's our compounds. We've got copper nitrate, magnesium nitrate, zinc nitrate, and silver nitrate. So remember that with a single replacement reaction, what's gonna happen is that these guys are a couple. Copper is a couple. It is bonded to the nitrate. And what we're doing is we wanna see if that copper is gonna be knocked out of being a couple and if copper or magnesium or zinc or tin is going to now become the couple and bond with that nitrate instead. And we're gonna fill our dropper and we're just gonna put enough copper nitrate into that first well with copper to cover it. Two or three drops should be enough. Then we're gonna put, we're gonna go down we're gonna put two to three drops of that copper nitrate with the magnesium, two to three drops of the copper nitrate with the third one, and two to three drops with the copper nitrate from the fourth one. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do magnesium nitrate, and we're gonna put just a couple of drops of the magnesium nitrate with each of our four metals just like we did before. So I'm gonna start with the copper. I'm gonna put a couple drops there, couple drops with the magnesium, couple drops with the zinc, couple drops with so the tin. We've got zinc nitrate. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a couple of drops of zinc nitrate with each of our metals. The last one that we're gonna do is adding the silver nitrate to each of the elements. And then on the video clip, we will see what kind of results we get. We got silver solid there, and now the copper is in the liquid with the nitrate. We've got magnesium is now in the liquid with the nitrate and silver is building on the surface. This one's really cool with the crystals of the silver. And now the liquid is the zinc and the nitrate. And then look at this guy. We got like a white cloudy liquid because now we're going to have tin with the nitrate and the silver is by itself. You'll want to pause and rewind to record our results. In this image, we can see all of our results and they are laid out in the exact same order as they are in your data table. Take a few minutes to pause the video here and record the results of what you see in your data table for each of the reactions. Again, look for bubbles and color changes.